Hello everyone, welcome back. And I'm gonna tell you a little story. Last night, my AC stopped working. I woke up like at 1.30 a.m. and the fan inside the house, the fan blower, it was blowing air, but not cold air. I went outside and I realized that the uh, outside unit wasn't working at all. I turned off, I turned on, and I can hear that the fan and the compressor were tar trying to start but wasn't starting, you know, make a noise like a clack, 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 trying to start and nothing happened. So at that point, I realized there is a 50% chance of being the capacitor. In my book, 50% of the time that the AC stopped working is a bad capacitor. 40% of the time is a drain line that is clogged and 10% of the time is anything else. This little guy saved the night. This is a $15, $20 capacitor. I've seen people get charged $400 to call a technician and replace the capacitor. And remember, this happened at 1.30 a.m. What I'm gonna do at that time? Well, lucky me, I keep a spare capacitor at my house for each unit and I just replace it. And it's very simple to do it. So I'm gonna show you how I replace this, how to replace it, test it and be safe doing it because there is a little risk, but if you are careful, you can do it yourself and save the night in the middle of the night, okay? So let's check how to test this first. Okay, first thing to test the capacitor, what you're gonna need is a multimeter. I like this one, really like this one because this one comes with a light right here and the screen illuminate, but let me check first the light. You have a light. You have light on the screen. Also, let you know if some connection has power. For example, this cable, let me see. See, here beeping. Has power. And on top of that, you can measure amps with this. Rush amps with this clamp right here. But to measure uh, or test the capacitor, you need microfirms. You put it right there and let me switch to microfirms. There you go. Here is the symbol at the corner from microfirms. If you see the capacitor, capacitor have a number right here. It says 30 and five. 30 is for the compressor, five is for the fan. Plus six, minus six, what it means is once you measure or test this capacitor, the number can be plus or minus six from 30, plus or minus six from five. Here you will see Herms, that is the connection for the compressor. Here is C for common, and here is fan. So what you wanna do is you wanna test from, where is it, where common to fan and common to Herms. Okay, let's do that. Put it right here. Okay, there you go. So, there you're gonna see it. 5.142. Now, come on to Herms or the compressor. It's gonna be 30.6. So, this is a new capacitor. This is brand new. I always keep it one and spare because like I said, you never know it's gonna break and it's pretty easy to replace. This one was the one that already replaced it it was for the other unit. And as you see, this one is 45, five, and says plus minus 5%, you know? And it's the same, if you see the top, I don't know if you can appreciate it the same way I can see it, but this cover right here is a little like expand, like a, have like a bubble right there, you see? So that means this one was bad. You can see that it's bad. Here is the fan, here is the Herms, this one is the C for the common. Let's test this one and you will see what I'm talking about. You have the C, two, fan. And nothing happened. You have the common, two herms. And nothing happened, you see? So this one is bad. I already replaced this one. This one is good. 
I have two AC units in my house, so one is bigger than the other one, so that's why this one is smaller. This one is very inexpensive. This is about $15, $20, this capacitor. Now, let's take a look how you replace this one, okay? Let's go back to the, to the back of the house. Okay, as you can see, I have two AC units outside or two condensers, and each one has a breaker you know that's the first thing you want to do is disconnect the power from the condenser so you're going to come here you're going to open this we have a breaker right here you got to turn off the breaker okay um you're going to have a, a cover on your panel i'm going to take this cover out Here is the uh, capacitor, you know. For some reason, whoever installed this at my house uh, the first time um, left this in a box. This is supposed to be in a on a hold by a metal bracket from the frame of the AEC unit. I don't know why it's like this, but I don't have the metal uh, bracket, so I left it how it was. So here is the capacitor. Remember, you turn off the power to the AC unit first. And second, this holds a charge. Do not touch those connectors yet. It's not gonna kill you, but it's gonna hurt. What you wanna do is you wanna fan, found the common and the fan common and herms, and you wanna short it uh, to this charger. Here is the common, here is the fan. And you rub it like this, and then common to herms, and you rub it like this. And after that, you discharge the capacitor and you are good to go. After that, you can take a picture if you want to make sure that you put these connectors on the same place on the newer one and you start disconnecting one by one. This is the old one. And you just start putting it here one by one, one by one, by one by one. After you're done, you just put it back how it was in my case inside the box and there in your case it's going to be probably inside the metal bracket attached to the frame and you put it back right there you know then you want to close the cover and turn on the power let's do that There you go, that's how you replace a capacitor in your AC. Um, it's very simple as you see. Uh, you just need to turn off the power and be careful, Do not, don't get chucked with this. You gotta discharge this first. If you don't know which one you gotta buy, like I said, you open the um, outside unit, check the existing uh, capacitor that you have, check the numbers, in this case is 30 and five. And you go online to Amazon and look for capacitor 30-5, for example, and you will find one that match your capacitor. Or that's this one, you can see, have the brand and the model and everything on there. With that, you can order just the same one and keep it at your house. You never know when in the middle of the night this is gonna go bad in, in just 10 minutes, you can, you, you can get your AC back and running without any problem and save $400 for only 10 minutes that you can do yourself, okay? So I'm gonna leave a link in the description to the um, multimeter that I use. It's very cheap, it's like $15, $25, like I said, very, very inexpensive because you may need that to just to test it and have it. And uh, if you like this video, you find this information very helpful for you, please give me a like subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye.